it's lunchtime and I have another recipe that I want to share with you. This time it's easy chicken cacciatore. If you're interested, keep watching. Easy chicken cacciatore. Simple ingredients, easy to prepare, tastes great. Just what you want when you're out in the woods. All right, what we'll do is go down to the ground where I have all my ingredients. We'll put it together, we'll get it over the heat, and when it's, once it's ready, We'll do a taste test. All right, so as I mentioned, simple ingredients, easy to put together, so let's get started. To begin, the pot I'm using to do all the cooking in is my Keith Titanium TI6015 1.8 liter pot. Perfect size for doing this. I've used this a number of times now, and it just works out to be a great size. And uh, into that are gonna go the following ingredients. So first thing I'm gonna be doing is sauteing a few vegetables just to soften them up. Now, I will be putting the full recipe or that I use in the video description below, but today I varied it. And that's one of the things that I like to do is, and you can do as well, vary your recipe according to what you prefer to have in your cooking meals, as well as what you have available. So today I'm gonna to be using the following. There are chopped up red bell peppers here, mushrooms, and the other ingredient you may or may not be aware of or familiar with, it's called an onion scape. So an onion scape is the top of an onion as it grows out of the ground, it looks like a green onion, grows up and actually curls around kind of like a pigtail. And they have a milder garlic flavor, still a garlic flavor. So think of it as a green onion with garlic flavor. And they're usually a little thicker as well. So I have some of those chopped up. So that's gonna be where I start off. In order to saute them, I will be using a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. After they're sauteed down, the rest of the ingredients all go in together. I have tomatoes, crushed, or not cr yes, crushed tomatoes, that's right, not chopped, crushed tomatoes here. And I have about two cups. Yeah, maybe a little under two cups here. I have chicken. Now, ideally you could be using fresh chicken that you saute up, but it's much easier to bring out, and safer, to bring out cooked chicken when you come out into the woods. So this is one full can of chicken from Costco. If you've ever bought their canned chicken, it's great for doing this kind of recipe. So I'll be using, that's actually quite a bit of chicken for this recipe, but it'll work. Then I have my herbs and spices, which is oregano, thyme. I put garlic powder in here just to supplement the garlic flavor on the scapes. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and the, the amounts, well, you know, it'll be about a teaspoon, I guess, each. They'll all be in the video description. Now, when you cook chicken cacciatore, it's normally served on some type of a bed of either pasta or rice. You don't have to, but that's usually the way it's normally done. And I'm going to be using a pasta replacement that I've been using a fair amount recently. It's called palm hearts. These are shredded palm hearts. I got them at a tremendous deal at one of our local uh, stores and they work exceptionally well as a pasta. Very, very good replacement. They are low carb, high fiber, tasty, and yeah, what else can you ask for? All right, to get started, I'm gonna set the pot up on top of my stove. We'll do a little sauteing of the vegetables. I'll add the rest of the ingredients. It does have to simmer down a little bit. And uh, once it's done, we'll do the taste test. So staying with the uh, Keith Titanium theme today, I brought out my Keith Titanium wood stove, reviewed previously. But instead of using it with wood, because of course we're still under a fire ban, I've used a gas burner that I'm able to attach in through the fire grate on the bottom. Find a nice kind of a stable spot for here on the rock. Now the reason I'm using it on a rock is I have to have it higher than the butane cylinder that I'm using to power it today. You can't lay the butane cylinder on its side or it goes into liquid mode but something tells me this is not going to, all right that's pretty stable. It's also a bit windy so we'll just see how it goes as we get started. I'll also be using the Keith titanium spoon that I happen to have. Now let's get the gas rolling. See if I can't get it lit. There we go, took a second. I don't want it on very high, in fact, I want it down quite low. There, all right. Put the pot on, a little bit of olive oil for sauteing. And in go the veggies. Oh, 
because I'm cooking in titanium, I've got to keep this moving. And that's going to take a couple of minutes, of course, to do. So what I'll do is I'll just work at simmering these down or sauteing them down a little bit, and then I'll bring you back. So I did end up changing location where I had my stove instead of on that rock for a couple of reasons. The rock just wasn't all that stable, and it was getting more and more windy. So I decided to move it inside of my fire pit here. It's a little awkward for reaching into to do the cooking, but... It works fine, right? It's actually a much better job. I have just a tiny bit of sticking, not sticking so much as blackening on the bottom. And I think that's, oh, it's coming off. It's maybe from the mushrooms. Doesn't take long for something to burn when you're cooking in titanium. You gotta keep an eye on it. And I was moving the camera and I think that's probably when that happened. All right, we are ready to add the next ingredient, which is the tomatoes. Now, the tomatoes go in, this is Half of a, the can that I opened up, and what's not going to show, I thought it would be still on top, is I also have a teaspoon of, what is it called, S bullion, uh, chicken stock, chicken stock bullion. It's a paste that you can buy, it's called Better Than Bullion, or, and uh, I put that in because the recipe calls for a small, there you can see the yellow, that's kind of mixed through a little bit. But to that, I do have to add a little bit of water to go with. Quarter cup, like that, that's all. So I would have added chicken stock. I just didn't bring chicken stock out, right? I bought the paste out, you mix it with water and you get the consistency or at least the volume you're supposed to have. It's starting to look good, isn't it? It is gonna take a little while though. But everything else goes in all at the same time here. And that includes the chicken itself. Like I said, there is a lot of chicken. This is going to be more than I can eat today for sure. So there's my full can of Costco chicken. Oh, this is going to be thick. You know, I could end up putting a little bit more water in this. Vary the ingredients the way you feel best for your personal tastes and whatever it is you like to eat and the amounts, of course. One more thing to add, and that is my herbs and spices. So once again, oregano, thyme, garlic powder, black pepper, salt. And I can see myself adding just a tiny bit more water to this, you know? I think I will, just a little bit more water. can always add more. I won't add too much right now. All right, now we're starting to look like a meal. Things are all mixed through. The only thing left to do now is to let it stew for a while. Put the cover on, turn the heat down, check it in a few minutes, see how it's looking. And when I think it's ready, we'll come back and do the taste test. Now, I did want to show you this before I serve up my meal. This is what the palm heart shreds look like, just like pasta, except they're shredded, so they're a little bit on the square if side, if you know what I mean. They have square edges as opposed to round. Looks like pasta, tastes like pasta. It's gonna work for, as pasta for this meal. How am I gonna do this? Just put some of it in, I guess. Oh, it's still gonna be a good sized meal. All right, that's enough for me. I do have some to take home. I'm okay with that. Put the lid back on. Okay, I'll reposition the camera. We'll do a taste test. Bandana slash napkin, put it on my knee. And here comes the meal. Nice thing, oh yeah, something else titanium, right? Keith Titanium Double Wall Bowl. Which is nice when you've got a hot meal like this because you can hold it in your hand and it, you know, it's comfortable to hold and stays warm. All right, now how am I gonna show you this? Chicken, tomatoes, this, uh, garlic scapes, red peppers, and mushrooms. Mm. Oh, what the flavor. Wow. Okay, 
couple of uh, comments. I just wanted to show you the garlic scapes. They actually take a bit of cooking, depending if you want them really soft. If you want them soft, you're going to have to saute them longer than I did. These are still a little bit of crunch to them, but a whole lot of flavor, a spicy garlic flavor to them. Yeah, they could have cooked down a little bit more before I started adding the other ingredients in. So a couple of thoughts here. Um, when I worked the amounts out from a full scale recipe to a small scale recipe, I thought I just wanted to stay with the full can of the chicken from Costco. In hindsight, I think it's a bit too much chicken. Now, I like a lot of meat in my stews, my food, so I eat a lot of protein. So it's not a bad thing, but it's maybe for a lot of people just a little bit too much on the chicken side. Once again, the nice thing about recipes like this is that you can vary them according to what you like as far as the flavors and the contents go. The flavors from the garlic, the salt, the pepper, the oregano, and the thyme, spot on. Oh, and those escapes. I still have the flavor in my mouth from those. But you can see there's a lot of chicken in this. Now, I wanted to reach down and see if I can't get some of the palm hearts so you can see that looks like pasta. I think I'll just mix it through, get a little bit of palm hearts, a little bit of the rest of the stuff on the plate. Spaghetti is always hard to eat when people are watching. Yeah, they work well. Okay. Now, just another comment on the ingredients themselves. Uh, this is obviously not an ultralight meal. It was never intended to be. It's not something that you can count on lasting in your pack for a long period of time. So you're carrying a bit of weight. They are fresh ingredients or at least prepared ingredients. So you have to use them up fairly quickly. And, you know, for an ultralight hiker, this is not something you're going to take a look at, which I know seems to be in contrast to the fact that everything else I carried was titanium. Maybe the weight savings of titanium offset the weight I had to carry in ingredients. But there's something about freshly made food from fresher ingredients that no freeze-dried meal I've ever tasted has lived up to. So that's why I like to do that. I'd like to find recipes that I can find things in my cabinets at home that I don't have to buy a relatively expensive freeze-dried meal and go through the work of, it's not work, okay, it's pretty easy, boiling water. That's usually what a freeze-dried meal uh, takes to rehydrate but I have yet to find one that tastes as good as what this meal does right here. And this was just simple ingredients. Mm. Yeah, it is a good meal too. Okay, that's all I wanted to share with you today. It was just a simple meal, easy chicken cacciatore. Vary it according to your, the way you like it. I will be putting the ingredients, in, or the recipe I followed at least, in the video description below. If you have any comments or questions, put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore, and take that path less travel, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.